splattered the paint, spread the paint on, okay, added the paste to the background, okay, and we are where we are, don't worry, I'll be editing this in the video. Um, and then what I've done is, once I've put this around the outside, I've used the um, activator, okay. Hi Sue, I'm having all sorts of problems today with everything, Facebook, my tablet, <laughs> it's a perfect storm today. So I'm hoping then if this um, goes out again and get chucked out of Facebook again, what I would do is I would video up here, I would video all the steps that we've done, okay, um, and put it out as a video, okay. So I'll redo it all. So if you kicked out, don't worry, the video will still be coming on of this technique, okay. <laughs> so come back down here. There we go, okay. So I've added the activator now onto here, and what we're going to do now. Is once I have done this, we are going to, oh, excuse me, I've got an itch here. I'm going to add um, bicarb, to be honest, bicarb and vinegar. So if I can open this, do you think, Sandra, the heat? Oh, I don't know. It is very warm in here, so I don't know whether it's affecting my electrics up here. Uh, it's a very old house. <laughs> well, I say very old, it's not very old, it's a terrace house, but it needs an awful lot doing to it. There we go. So, so far, what we got? I hope you're going to enjoy this in the end. <laughs> Hi, Faith. Sorry about that. Sorry about that, but um, I was kicked out. So we've got uh, bicarb. Okay, it's just my box standard bicarbonate soda. I've got some. Uh, we're using the vinegar now. Okay, so that's just your vinegar. Doesn't matter what type of vinegar it is. And I would still be using the activator. Okay, but same. If you're using rusty patinas, don't worry. Oh, maybe it is the heat then, Sandra. I don't know, but I'm not very happy. It's not. It's not good for you. I'll try and. I will try and edit the two together as a video. Um. So all in one, hopefully. But then again, I'm not bright as bright as a button when it comes to um those sort of things. <laughs> okay. So this now, I've added activator on it. What we're going to do is we're going to add the bicarb. Okay. Bicarb. So just got a bicarb here, and we're going to add it on. Okay. Just. Just. Pop it on, okay, because we want texture, yeah. So, there we go, I'm popping it all on. And I'll pop it mainly in, the, in the, uh, the middle here because I've got activated for the rust paint, but you can use this as well. So, so it's all this, see how simple it is, all about building those layers. And this is just your bog standard bicarb out of your, your cupboard, okay. The good thing about this, once it's dried, you once went. I keep saying went. I don't know why I think I come in from um, the medieval times. I do not know. Um, you can do this any area you want, and after it's dry, we can brush it back as well. So there's lots of ways you can do it. So that's our, our bicarb on here now, and I've got the vinegar. So with the vinegar now, I'm just going to start. Can you see? Can I come in closer for you for this? I'm going to try and get in closer. Here we go. We watch as this goes on now. This is what's give you this lovely um, the texture. Can you see it fizzing away there? <laughs> okay. And it smells nice. I like the smell of vinegar. It's just me. Open the window if you don't like the smell of vinegar. Okay. There we go. So I'm just adding the vinegar. So I'm going to dry this. Now you've got to be patient when you're drying this because I found, I want to divide also, I'm going to have a little bit of activator in it as well, now my rust bits here. Um, this is going to take a while to dry, all right, because but we can, I'm going to come out now, we can um, use our heat tool for this now because I'm using the heat tool, won't move it around, okay. So what you do with the heat tool is, so I'm just going to start doing it, I won't do it, I'll have it already finished. But you're just going to use your heat tool to dry the areas where your bicarb is, okay? okay. And I put on lots here, you don't have to put as much of this, I just want to show you the fizzing, because <laughs> I'm like that. So you want to hold it quite close when you're doing this, okay? Because you want to try and dry this, sort of in the position it is, if that makes sense. You can let it dry on its own, but I like to dry it with a gun, because what happens is also, is by holding it close, you can also singe, that makes sense, you can singe the um, bicarb, the powder, and it gives even more texture and more um, uh, dimension to it. You can see where the activator is, along with the vinegar. 
you can see it's already getting a really true rusty look. Again, don't worry because you can use your, your rusty patinas and create that effect yourself. So I'm going to hold this in this area. I'm going to go just one area and I'll show you the one then that we've uh, worked on to finish. Okay. So again, be patient with this because it is well worth it. Okay. So what you can do is so you can hold it close. And once it's all dried out a little bit, where this is white, you can singe that. But we can, we can um, brush off what we don't want in the end. I love the texture, so I didn't brush much of mine off. <laughs> okay. So you can see where this bit is drier now. Okay. I'm going to show you this one little corner of how it starts to go. And I'll bring in the bit we've already finished, exactly the same. I'll bring in the, the book we finished, and the only difference is that it's dry, <laughs> okay? It's exactly the same technique, but it's just fully dry. But can you see that now? Now that is only partially dry, but I want to bring you into this corner here. Okay, I'm going to bring this up so you can see. But can you see? Hi, Nikki. Hi, Karen. Oh, Karen, honestly, I've had so many problems. This is the second. Um, hi, Tina. This is actually only, this is the part two. I tried it once and um, it, it kicks me out and I'm back in again. So don't worry, you're not laying up this anything. It's me that got the problems, okay? But there you go, look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? It is an old technique, but it's just, it's just gives you such a wonderful finish. I might, I remember doing bicarb in my science thing and we had a, a coke bottle uh cut off you know and you had to with the top and you had to put the the vinegar and bicarb we had something else in there as well and you're like, shoom, through the top of it you know <laughs> but you can see that how beautiful that texture is now once it's all dry let me come out because i'm going to bring in the finished piece okay so i'm going to leave that now because that uh i'm going to squish that around i'm going to let that dry now on its own and i'm going to bring in the piece that i've been working on let me move that vinegar I'm going to tip that over, do I? Let me just get this clear a little bit. It's a messy. Pop that in some water. Oh, I do love the smell of vinegar. Mm. Oh, let me just fold it up. I don't need that yet. Right, so if I bring in the piece I'm working, I've been working on. So this is um I'm gonna cut a little bit more. This here we go. Is a I'll say a Another project that I had that I, um, I'm upcycling it. You see it's a glue marks, but I'm going to be stenciling this. So when I finish it all together, I will photograph for you. But this is just the rust effect paint onto it. But this is, look at that. This is the texture when it's dry. I'm going to bring it up for you because it's fabulous. So look at that. You've got all that depth, all that texture in there. You've got this lovely and rust effect around the outside. I just love that look. It's very sort of... um. Under the sea look, isn't it? Something that's come under the sea that's been rusted for years under there, you know? But you can see now, it's this hard. It's rock hard now. But you can brush off what you don't want. If you want to um, have less of the effect, just, just brush it off. But when you are happy, when, make sure I'm going to go in there. When, when you're happy with the effect, this is what I said about the, the varnish spray, okay? At this stage, and I haven't got, I've only got gloss, and I don't want to put gloss on this. You need a clear, oh, thank you, Karen. You need a clear um, uh, matte varnish. Okay, that's my recommendation. Use a clear matte varnish to preserve this. So you're gonna use a, a clear matte varnish over the top. You don't wanna use a brush on one because it's gonna have water in it. Okay, you don't want to fizz it up or do anything else. Okay, because this is all nice and dry now. So you give it about, I don't know, about three coats of the matte varnish. That then will seal that down and that will stay put then, okay? But I just love that texture and I didn't want to brush. I brushed some off at the sides. Whoops. I brushed some off at the um, thing here, off at the sides here, so I could see more of my rust. That's all I've done with that. I just love it. You can see all the bumps and the, if I tilt it that way, you can see, hopefully, look at the depth of that texture on there. Gorgeous. I think it's lovely. Hi, B. sorry. Sorry about all the problems I've been having. <laughs> so that there is our front of our box. So this one I really want to show you today. So I'll try and edit all the video together as one rather than having two separate um, lives. I'll try and add it as a, put it as a video and then pop it on my page. Okay, it'd be much easier for you to see then. Um, 
if the first bit hasn't worked out too well, I will refilm that first bit and add it into this second bit. Okay. Then what I've done is, oh, here we go. If I had a little frame, another one here. I just I've done this ahead because I need to dry in time. And I've done more or less the same sort of thing here. It was a resin frame. I had it from my wonderful friend um, Sylvia at um, Artisanius Mo. I can never say it, Monhejo. I'll put the I'll put the website up. I, I don't think she delivers to the UK. Um, but this lovely uh, resin frame. And again, what I've done is I've used my Createx um, rust effect paint with my um, activator. But again, if you've got rust patinas or any sort of rust effect paints, then that you know that can be do exactly the same job. It'd be brilliant. But I've added a little bit whilst my activator was wet. I suppose you could do it with vinegar as well. I've added a little, little tiny bit of bicarb onto that to really um, age that up. So that has got, you can see the nooks and crannies here, but I put a little bit on. I mean, I've just literally sprinkled it on lightly like you would with salt on your dinner, you know, just in the areas I wanted to create a little frame to go on the front of my, my project, okay? As so I'm not gonna be sticking it down because I need to varnish it first. And then I had another, I used a piece of rice paper project the other day, but I had still had some left, but I wanted a lovely um, little lady to go in it. So I picked a little bit of foiled rice paper, that's the cadence that one. And then all I'm going to do, I'm going to glue that onto the back of my frame. Okay, just with my little, you know, little love, love person there. <laughs> okay. So I was going to glue that onto there and then, like I said, because really today is about telling you how to do this bit. Okay. And then I'm just going to add this. Once I've varnished the top, I'm going to add her into my lovely little frame there. I may find myself, I don't know, I may do one of my little, my little wooden press things into clay. Um, this pressed into clay to make wonderful little tags. So I may add something like that on um, later on or not, basically. <laughs> but there you go. But again, all about layering. So we've added layers. We've added like the rusty, again, use all your rust effect paint you have. But this, I think, is, is beautiful. And again, the original technique... Um, was taught to me by my friend in Spain, Monsi Garcia, uh, fantastic mixed media artist, amazing, and she's a cadence teacher as well. But look at that. And when I seen this technique, it's a few, it's a little while ago now, but when I thought about the technique, what technique can we do? I thought, I've got to do this one because this is something that can be used in your card making, your scrapbooking, onto all sorts. And it's all about using, basically, you could do it, you just buy card, paint, and vinegar. Amazing. Love it. <laughs> Love it. I don't think it makes you hungry now. I think I got some chips. I don't know. <laughs> I shouldn't really like this stuff. I gotta move on now. Clear on my desk up and I've got clean I got clean card making crafting to do next. There you go. So I hope I hope you love the the um the finish to it. Okay. I said I when I finished the whole book, okay, and I varnished it and I've added my topper on and I finished the edges and stenciling. I will put a, put, um, a photograph up on, on my page, don't worry, I will pop it up there. But there's just this way of using that bicarb and the vinegar to give your texture. Also on the frame, and I'm trying to hold, try and hold it on my hand now. <laughs> I know it's hard to see because all the lights here, but that, the texture really is, I can do it that way, no. My lights are too strong. I have to put them off in a very dark room. Okay. But the texture on there is wonderful. And that colour. But I think I'd like to do that as a sea theme, you know. And I'm going to... I have got some rice papers with sea themes on them. Um, so maybe I would dig that out. That on a canvas. I'm sorry, but I'd have to do a whole canvas in this technique, I think. Because that on a wall would look so impactful, wouldn't it? You know, with this technique behind it and then done. So I think... That may be seen later on somewhere as an actual um, larger piece um, on my wall sometime. I have got a gorgeous, um, I don't even remember I did the Grecian man, which is just here, over here, and Zeus. I have another one upstairs, a different one. And I think that would look amazing, wouldn't it? On a picture, the background done with that, with um, 
one of the faces there from my friend, friend Sylvia in Spain as well. <laughs> oh, I do love, I love Sylvia, I love Monty. So um, that's it for today. So I said I would try and um, amalgamate the two videos into the two lives into one. Okay, for it. I'll do something to amalgamate into one so you can watch it all in one go rather than to try and find different areas. Um, so yes, have a go. And if you have a go, please send me pictures on, on to Amanda Jane Cross. Please, um, you know, which will tag me in. I'm getting very technical. I'm going to get quite modern. I'll tag me in um, so I can see what you've done and see how you've used it. But I would love to see it in card making. So if anyone's got to do that into a card making project, I would love that. But don't forget your varnish. <laughs> okay, matte varnish. Um, so until next time, I don't know what we'll do next time, but there, I will be back with another live, um, a live project, a live technique, something you may, you know, another technique you may like um, in August. Oh, I'm just, I'm on holiday next month. Um, It'll be end of September. <laughs> It'll be end of September. We will we will be doing a project. Okay, I'll try and get a nice technique for you. Um, something maybe something pretty. I don't know yet. So anyway, you take care. Stay safe. Enjoy the warm weather. I'm not. <laughs> it's too warm. It's too warm for me. I'm gonna go downstairs and cool down. Sit in my front room. Um, but stay safe. Stay well. And I will.